Hey guys, okay, so today I'm doing hairstyles for my bangs and like just regular hairstyles, like what I would wear to school if I'm having a bad hair day or something like that. So here we go. Okay, so first I'm going to be doing a snake braid for your bangs. So basically all you do is just take all your bangs, which I'd say I take that much. Okay, and then split it into three sections. And then you just start braiding regularly. you've about got to the bottom like that you hold this piece the middle piece hold the middle piece and then take the outsides and just push them up like that so it's gonna look like that and then just kind of take it out and then just go back and that's the snake braid and then you can put it in a ponytail or whatever you want to do so yeah, that's how you do the snake break. Okay, my next hairstyle is just making it look like you have bangs. So say you kind of have bangs like me and you want them to be like swoopy like that, like some people have. So what I do is I just kind of part my hair a little bit further over. Do that. Okay, and then I take my bangs and I just put it down like that and I put them right behind my ear so this is coming over and you have your bangs like that and so everyone's like oh I love your bangs they're so cute and I'm like oh thanks but they're really tucked behind my ear and just to make them look like I have bangs so it works really well and that's how you do it and it's really easy okay next hairstyle that I'm doing is just a regular braid and then you can just clip it back so take your bangs and make sure when you're braiding your bangs, you always braid it back. So when you clip it back, you don't have like this big bump from braiding it straight down. Just saying. Okay. So, you have the braid. And then just take this one and kind of just drape it behind your head and then take a bobby pin and clip it back. You're probably going to need more than one bobby pin. Okay, so then that's going to stay like that. And then you can also go from this side and just kind of take it right around right here, I'd say. And then just start regular braiding. Regular braiding back. Okay, and then when you do that, just kind of stop it kind of short. Bobby pin. Oops. And then clip it back. So, this is your hairstyle. You have a braid coming from here and a braid coming from there. And it works out really well. Okay, so next I'm going to be French braiding. And because I play softball and volleyball, this works out really well. So I can just put it into my ponytail in the back. And I'll show you that. And then I'll just show you regular French braiding. So, I think I'm going to do the regular one first. And then I'll put it into a ponytail. So, what I do is I just slide my finger through the top of my hair so I can get the top like that and just have this little piece okay and then break it into three sections like that and start your regular braid okay so you're gonna have it started and I just drop one piece and pick up hair where it should be and then just keep on braiding okay and then drop a piece pick it up Braid, drop piece, pick it up, braid. Oh, my hair stuck. Drop piece, pick it up, braid, drop, braid, 
and just keep on going on and on and on. Okay, and then when you're done with that, you can just braid regular. Down. Like that. And then just use another bobby pin. Bobby pin. If I can get it open. And just clip it back. This bobby pin does not work at all. And then just clip it back. Okay, so that's the French braid straight across. And then I'll do the French braid into a ponytail. Which also works for sports or like gymnastics or whatever you do. And it still looks girly instead of just like the regular braid. Okay, so same thing with French braiding earlier. Split it off into three sections. And then just start your braid. Like that. And on the one I have in my ponytail, I usually make it a little bit looser so it's not really tight. And plus when I wear my helmet, it like wouldn't mess it up. Oh, um, and then for volleyball, just like running around and diving and everything, I usually have that one a little bit tighter. But what happens, happens. Okay, so then finish off the brain. And then usually, um, from taking hair, when I stop braiding it, it is about right here, right above my ear. So, yeah, that's so you know that. And continue braiding and braiding. Okay, and then at the end, take a scrunchie or hairband or whatever you want to call it, and just wrap it around the ends. Okay, so then I don't have layers, but I can just always bobby pin that back. Okay. So then, put your hair into a ponytail. Okay, and I usually leave that down first. And always put my other hair up first. Okay, so get your ponytail. Here, I'll turn around so you can see it this way. Okay. So I'm turned around, oh let me fix this one piece right here, and it doesn't matter how high you want your ponytail to be, but right now I want it right here. Okay, so I'll turn back around, so you have your ponytail, and then take your braid and then just wrap it around, so it looks like this in the front, and then take another scrunchie, or whatever you want to call it and put it into your ponytail with the braid still in it like that so then you still have the braid and then just take the braid oh I dropped it scrunchy out and undo the braid so then it looks like this and then you might end up having to put some bobby pins in it okay so then it looks like that and it's right in your ponytail so, yeah.